Hello, secondary. It is time we have a talk about YouTube. So it kind of seems appropriate. Here I am on YouTube, and we need to talk about YouTube here in the building and how it affects the amount of data that our network can handle. Okay, so let's just take a look at what this all means. So here at the Metropolitan, we have a fiber optic cable that comes into our building that provides us with the internet or the network that we need to be able to operate as a school. So this big circle here represents all the data that that little fiber optic line can handle, okay? And it's a very fixed amount, okay? We can't go outside of this because this is all it can handle. It's kind of like a plumbing pipe with water in it. There's only so much water you can get in it and then you can't put any more water in it. That's the data that comes into the building or goes out of the building using the internet, okay? And that's all we can have. There's no more fiber to be put in the Ciudad de Saber. That's all that we have. So we have to be careful with it. Now, when we're using little things like Google Docs and looking up websites on Wikipedia, it uses just tiny, tiny, tiny amounts of data go back and forth between the internet and our computer. Little tiny bits that are little packets. They're called packets. And they don't take up much space or time at all. But if we start to watch, let's say, a YouTube video and we turn it on, it uses up that much of the data, of the stream that we have coming into the building. Well, the problem is, is that we have lots of these YouTube videos being started in the school, and most people are using YouTube to just listen to music. So you start a YouTube channel, and then you put it in the background, and you go back to work, and you put your headphones on, and you listen to your music. The problem is, all of you, or a lot of you, are doing that, and all these streams of music keep opening up, which are really video streams. So they're not just music, they're video. And video uses a lot of data because it has to transfer all that data to your machine from YouTube. And that's what's killing us. So a high, high percentage of all the data being used for our network are actually YouTube videos for music. People not even watching them. They're just listening to the music that comes in on them. And that is not leaving any room for us to do real schoolwork to watch real videos that we need for our classroom and for our Google Docs and other network items, things in the cloud, moving photos around and stuff like that. It's not allowing for that to work properly because so much of our bandwidth is being used by YouTube music. So we've got to get away from it, all right? So we've got to do something better. And this is how it comes down to it. If we want to keep YouTube, we've got to stop using it for music. So. This is what we're proposing. You need to bring in your own music or stream it with your own device, okay? You can no longer use the school network for YouTube music or anything that's gonna use a lot of bandwidth, okay? So what we're proposing is that you bring in your own stuff, you listen to your own music. You know, I have my own phone, I have it in my pocket, and I already have a few playlists that I already have downloaded all the time. So I don't need to use my cellular data plan to get these songs. I already have them loaded onto here, and we're suggesting you do the same thing. Now, you're asking, what about those classrooms that we're not allowed to use our phones in? Well, now that is a bit of a problem. You can probably go off to one of the local electronic stores and buy a small music player, like an MP3 player, for less than $20, and you can have, you know, five, 600 songs in your pocket to have your own music available for you to listen to. We know some of you like to listen to music while you do schoolwork, and so that's the option. But this is no longer an option. We cannot keep using YouTube for music. It just is it's killing the network and it's killing our productivity and the bandwidth that we're providing here at the Met. So we're gonna go away from that. So we can't have you with your headphones plugged into your laptops anymore unless you're listening to something educational. But as far as just tuning into music, we can't have that anymore. Unfortunately, if we don't solve this problem, we're going to have to block YouTube. We don't want to do that. We know there's lots of great things on YouTube. You know there's, there's great tutorials, there's great lessons, there's great material, but we can't use it for music anymore. So please, work with us. No more listening to YouTube music, because if you are, it's going to just block it for the rest of us, and it's not going to be very good. So please, let's work together, and let's find a different solution to enjoying music here at the Met. So we can do it. Good luck, Jaguars.